Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to talk about customizing the new invoice in QuickBooks Online. I'm going to start by saying we don't have as many options as we had before. And I'm really not happy about it, but I'll show you what little I've discovered. Let me go ahead and open up an invoice. I'll click on plus new and then I'll select invoice. This is going to take me to the new invoice. So I can see everything that I can see. I already have a video that describes what you're seeing on the screen. What I want to do is talk about the ways that you can customize the behind the scenes. So let me do a print. Oh, I was going to say, let me do a print and download, but um, let me just go to an old invoice. Okay. So here's an old invoice. I'm going to choose print and download so you can see what it looks like on the client side. This is what the client can see. So let's talk about the things we can change. Maybe you don't want your company name to look like this. We can click on the blue link to click on edit company, and then we can change information here, which will update everywhere. So um, I say we love bookkeeping, gentlefrog.com, um, demo things, right? So I'll add more to it. And maybe I want to take off my phone number. Maybe I want to add on the website just a handful of changes, right? So when I click on save, you can see the changes changed over here in real time. It doesn't change it just for this invoice. It changes it across all of the things within QuickBooks. So kind of cool. Um, the things you see, just, just so you know, the things you see on my screen that are in red, that's from my Chrome extension right tool. It's not something you're automatically going to see. Um, so down here, you can tell customers how you want to get paid. Uh, you can have a note to customer. So if I look at it, here's the note to customer, and I just wrote this as stuff. Um, I can type payment info. I'll click save. I'm going to click print and download again, just so we can see what it looks like now with the payment info. So the stuff at the top about our company has been updated in the payment info that I added that's down on the bottom. Uh, let's just take a look and see what else we can change. On the right hand side, I can edit my default settings. That's not changing my invoice. That's changing settings. Um, I'll show you. Uh, so default settings, I can turn off shipping. I can have custom transaction numbers. That's representing the invoice number. Y you can see all these things, right? It's not it's not the thing I have in mind. The thing I want to change, which I've been able to change in the past, is the look of my invoice. So let's go down here to customization. I can customize some of it. Um, I, I have these custom fields and when I click on manage, you'll see I click too fast, but you'll see how I've got the word disclaimer here. Like that's a custom field because I wanted to demo something for someone. Um, it's not really that exciting disclaimer appears on the left hand side of my screen and then I can type whatever I want in that text box. When I look at customization, that's kind of all I've got there. Um, payment options, those are what they are. Th then there's design. So the recommended template is the modern template and then there's some view only templates. I'm like, okay, cool, modern, great. Um, I, I can pick my color. So I picked this kind of bluish color, but I can change it to pink or to purple. Um, cool. I can change my font. Um, great. Like it, it does change it. I, I will acknowledge that, but it, I'm not a font person. It doesn't look a whole lot different to me. Scheduling. I can make it a recurring invoice. I can send invoice reminders. Like I, I can't do the things I used to do. I have other videos where I'm like, you can move the logo from the top center to the right and you can change the columns that display. I haven't figured out how to do that. When I click on manage, it just takes and subtracts the sidebar. 
uh, let me just close this and I'll go to the other spot. So if I go to the gear and I go to custom form styles, remember we're working on the modern form. Um, standard default edit. This is the way that the old form looked. Exit without saving. It's your new invoice. Dive in with template. So modern, I don't understand this. Like here's all the stuff that we can use and all the stuff looks really cool. So let's try um, something really crazy. Like this one's very, like lots of stuff going on. We'll make it orange um, content. Let me just change this um, invoice as of, and I'm doing this on May 6th. So go May 6, 2024, and I'll just click on done. So I've, I've made a template. Um, let me just go over here and I'll make an invoice and uh, let me custom it. No, go to design and then I can do invoice as of. Ooh, previews are not available for these. So let's add some stuff. Let's go demo customer, some hours, do one hour, $20 to save. So what I don't have is that option to do that kind of print thing that I was looking at, um, but I can do a review and send. Okay, so I've saved my invoice because I wanted to look at it and I couldn't preview it and then I just went to a whole different screen. So I'm going back into my invoice and it says you're using an old template. This view may not reflect what your customer will see. Preview what your customer sees by visiting the PDF or, or email view. I'm like, all right, well, where is that? And I don't know. I tried doing it a second ago and it didn't work for me. So I'm, I'm sure it was me. I'm just going to copy a link and I paste it view it and we're going to see what it looks like to the client. Uh, view invoice. Well, I, I did want to make an invoice that was really, really tacky just so that I could tell if it was different. So I, I was able to do that. Um, it, it's a little clunky. Um, but if you're watching this and you have uh, like a format that you like, um, for as long as we're able to use the old templates, I would. I would go back to the old videos that I've created where I customize the template and then in the new invoice, I would come over here to design and then change it to the invoice template that you like. Make sure to name the invoice template something useful so you can find it, such as me naming it with today's date. Maybe that's not exactly what you'd want to do, but something like this could work for you. So I'm sorry that it keeps changing. It's just as weird and awkward and frustrating for you as it is for me, but together we'll figure out what we can. If there's anything you want me to look for or try to find a workaround for or have any questions about, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. If you want private help, I'm available for one-on-one -on -one training. If you want bookkeeping services, Megan and I are available. If you want to learn to use QuickBooks on your own, my YouTube channel has a ton of videos, and then I also have courses I sell on my website. So, thanks! <laughs>